Hello YouTube, it's your girl Allie Parker. So I'm just going to do a quick little video kind of previewing some of the stuff you're going to see on my channel this year. Not all of my planner is done and things might change a little bit, but I'm going to try and stick to this as much as I can this year. So first off, how cute is this planner? It's from Friends. It's How You Doing from Joey Cherubiani in 2020. So I was very surprised to get this for Christmas because my husband does not watch Friends. He doesn't like it. Or he's never really given it a chance, in my opinion. But um, I always reference it and talk about it because it was... It's Friends. It's like the most amazing sitcom ever. And then this is just my name. So let's get into some of what you're going to see here. Alright, some public holidays in different countries. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before in a planner, I've got to say. Alright, the treats. And I'm in Aries, so I have that kind of circled almost okay and then there's some random dates to celebrate like friday is national sleep day or festival of sleep day sorry and then they have stuff like joke day national thrift shop day world hello day day of the ninja bathtub day it's really cool stuff so there's 90 of them in here I believe my goal was to do 90% of them so I pretty much have to do them all um <laughs> and then this one is just random challenges that it has on here and I actually thought would be really cool to try and do this year like I don't ever remember flying a kite in my entire life. I know that's something that kids do, but it's on my challenges list. So I gotta do, I think, 90% of these as well. So I might as well fly a kite. And then there's glide down a slide. I mean, yeah, come on. Go to a drive-in cinema in your pajamas. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that where I live now. But, I don't know, we might be able to make that happen. I love the drive-in. And just stop walking and texting. So, no more walking and texting at the same time. Um, or at least go a day or two without it. Learn at least five new words and use them. I think... I'm going to be in ASL 2 next semester, so that's going to be really easy, because that counts, right? Okay, and then January is the most filled out of any month, because that's the month we're in, so I've actually filled this one out kind of well, I think, but I am late on doing my to be read for this month, so that will be coming tomorrow. Then... I have quite a few reading challenges that I want to do this year, like 52 books in one year. You just write hashtag 52 books in 52 weeks. You can do it on Instagram or Twitter, and then you're joined, and so that'll be kind of a way to keep track of what I'm reading, along with my videos and my Goodreads and everything, and then... This is not book related, but it is channel related. I am going to be doing a challenge video every Sunday. And I have them planned out for the entire year. See, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, there's so much fun stuff going on with my challenges. And the best part is that... My husband is going to do them with me, so I am very excited. And then I kind of just have some things to do to prep for the videos 
and I don't have it all listed because it also involves what time I get done reading because after a book I want to do my reviews and book hauls. I don't know when I'm going to go shopping, that kind of thing. So these things are kind of what I want to stick to. It's like a little guideline. But I definitely want to do the challenges that are in here. And then let me show you the rest of my reading challenges. So I found the Pop Sugar reading challenges. I don't know if you can read those, but some of them are a book with a ro robot, Cygorn, or AI character, a book with a bird on the cover, a book re recommended by your favorite blog, podcast, or online book club, ah. or a book on a subject you know nothing about. There's quite a few of them that sound really good. A book that has a book on the cover. Ooh, I, you know, I haven't even read all these yet, so these are going to be interesting. But for now, since it's the beginning of the year, I'm not going to worry so much about finishing them. Just reading what I'm supposed to be reading. Then, the other challenge, book challenge, is the A to Z book challenge. So you have to find a book that starts with every single letter of the alphabet except for x and g as long as or i mean x and q i'm sorry i can't even read my own handwriting x and q just have to be in the title somewhere so that makes it a little bit easier but i'm very excited for that and this is a longer video than i thought it would be so i'm sorry about that but my last challenge that i wanted to show you was the 2020 monthly reading. So the point of this is to read one, at least one book that fits into this category. And it can kind of be a matter of interpretation, like Winter Wonderland. What the synopsis for this one said, it can be a wintry place, it can be a magical realm, it can be a different country that has a lot of um, like, ethnic, ethnicity to it, and as long as you write it over here, and why, kind of, if it makes sense to you, then you can keep it as your Wonderland. So, for my Wonderland book this year, I'm already on page 20, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but I'm working on it, but page 20 of Alice in Wonderland. And I know what you're thinking. You have never read Alice in Wonderland? What? And uh, sadly, I have not read Alice in Wonderland before. I have, I mean, I know the story because everyone knows the story of Alice in Wonderland. But I'm working on it. See? I'm reading it now. So that'll be my first book for my monthly challenges. And since it's a different challenge, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the same book for different challenges. If I am, then Alice in Wonderland will be my A book for A to Z. But that's a little sneak peek into Allie Parker's world on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to me. Thank you.